Well, I think we have to better understand resistance at the genetic molecular level. Um, and by understanding it, that will allow us to develop new treatments to try and overcome resistance in the clinic. So already we know a fair amount about molecular mechanisms of resistance. Um, we can think about them in some broad categories. Um, some resistance is caused by the acquisition of new genetic changes in the target kinase itself. So for example, a kinase can acquire a new mutation in the kinase domain so that the drug can no longer bind. That's a very common um, type of resistance mechanism that we see in EGFR mutant lung cancer, for example, with the gatekeeper. T790M mutation. We also see these secondary resistance mutations coming up in patients who have relapsed on ALK inhibitors like crizotinib. And so again, understanding what these are, how they um, cause resistance has been very helpful because it's allowed us to now develop new drugs that can specifically overcome those resistance mutations. For example, there are now third generation EGFR inhibitors. These are irreversible inhibitors of mutant EGFR with the gatekeeper T790M mutation. And these drugs are looking very promising in the clinic, um, induce, inducing responses in most patients who relapse on erlotinib or gefitinib due to the T790M mutation. Those drugs may even become a standard therapy for patients in this country in the near future. And in the setting of ALK-resistant lung cancer, again, our understanding of resistance mutations has allowed us to develop a whole uh, new group of ALK inhibitors. We call them next-generation ALK inhibitors. And these drugs can overcome many of the known ALK resistance mutations, like the gatekeeper mutation and others um, that we're seeing come out in the setting of crizotinib resistance.